Hi, welcome to the Arcade Buffet. We have another Geo 7 19 inch repair for Mizu off of the Kayla forums. And this one was a bit of a challenge, and I will let him describe how we did it. <laughs> Go. All right. Well, uh, we got this uh, Geo 7 a while back, and it was dead upon arrival. Uh, no picture, no nothing. Uh, so the first thing we did was we recapped it and then uh, put the new fly back on it. Uh, it still wasn't working, so we ended up uh, reflowing the header pins. Uh, we checked uh, X701, 901, the horizontal output transistor, and uh, the uh, voltage regulator. Uh, still no luck on it. Um, so we uh, we did a little more uh, troubleshooting. Um, we found that there was a broken wire going to the horizontal output transistor, and uh, cold solder joints really throughout the chassis, so there's sort of a... A, a poor job on uh, some of the solder in there. That was probably my fault, though. Uh, let's see. Um, there was another uh, broken wire on the... Uh, or correction, we, uh, we found out that the wires on the uh, screen and the focus pot were uh, were actually reversed uh, with the ground. We ended up having to uh, reverse those back by looking at another working uh, Geo 7. Once we did that, we actually got a little bit of a picture, but the picture was still off. We were missing the blue. Um, so again, uh, another uh, cold solder joint there on the neck board. Uh, we adjusted the B+. Plus. Uh, that helped us get a little bit of our uh, brightness back up there. Um, yeah, so uh, kind of in closing, uh, the big uh, things are uh, reflowing, flyback, uh, the... Uh, the, the broken wire is really uh, another thing that uh, did us in, and, and I think the the big the big one that uh, threw us off for a while were the wires being reversed with the uh, with the screen and the focus. So uh, hope this helps someone out there, and uh, good luck. Yep, and just a little bit, he got to my house and asked me to help him figure it out. So we sat down at around 4:45, quarter about five o'clock, and it is now about 8:30. So, took a couple hours to figure this one out. It was a little bit of a headache, a bunch of cold solder joints. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So, cold solder joints are a factor. Always pay attention. Always take pictures when you take and do things. That way you can check your work and not have to worry about looking at other used chassis and things. But, it's all an experience and it's all a learning. So, there it is, as you can see. It's working fantastic. All controls work as they should. And again, he will have to readjust this when he puts it on his tube back at his house. And hopefully Tetris works now. Hope. So let's hope so. So, but here it is. Everything's working good. So if you need any tips or tricks, please visit my site, thearcadebuffet.com or email me at thearcadebuffet.com. So everybody learn. We all had a good time. And see you later.